Welcome to Leg and Foot Rigging 2. This time we are going over a reverse foot rig to control the IK goals from where we left off in the last video. But first we'll rename everything to something more useful. We'll prefix skeleton to deforming bones, IK goal for IK goals, helper for rig controls, and a capital control for control objects for the animator. A naming scheme like this allows you to identify things from a list easily. To rename the bones, we need to get into edit mode. Let's do this by pressing tab. Okay. Now we're in edit mode, and let's go down to the panels section. We're going to the edit panel, editing panel, and over here in the little section that's armature bones, Okay, that's where we're going to name it. We're going to name it skeleton because it's a deforming bone leg, that's the main object, and upper. Okay, now we're going to select the next bone in the chain. We're going to name that skeleton, leg again, and lower. We don't really need technical names here completely because we just need something identifiable. Okay, skeleton, foot, and main, and the next bone, skeleton, foot, toes. Now we're mostly just kind of trying to break up this um, into some large chunks. Uh, the IK goal here is um, we're just renaming the main object. So that's IK goal. Giggle underscore uh, ankle. Okay, IK goal underscore the ball of the foot. And the last IK goal. So IK goal underscore uh, toes. Here, right here now we'll hide this, go to Object, Show Hide, and Hide Selected. Okay. That'll make it a little easier to work with for now, um, just so we're not accidentally selecting the wrong bones or anything like that. And okay, we're going to create a new armature, and this is going to be for the control object, tab to get into edit mode again. Okay, we're going to go into X-ray mode, so it's visible above other bones, and stick mode, so it looks a little bit different. Now we're going to extrude the rest of the bones, and they don't have to be exact, because we're going to snap them into place exactly later. And select the middle bone and get the toe. Okay, let's line this one up fairly close. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, the closer we can get it, the, probably the better. Um, if it's, we don't want it exact because we're going to make the toe exact. So select the IK goal and Shift S and cursor to selection. I'm going to go back to. The, that and shift S again for selection to cursor to snap these. I'm going to select the second IK goal and shift S and cursor to selection again. Now we're going to select this the little middle piece right here and shift S selection to cursor and one last one select the IK goal and shift S cursor to selection and the bone shift S uh, selection to cursor. Okay, now we have all that lined up. We'll just kind of move this little piece up here to, to line it up real quick.
There we go, that's close enough. Ain't now in pose mode here still. You can see how foot is basically going to move. You can see how we can rotate on the toes or the ball or the heel and we can move the toes up or down. Okay, uh, now we gotta actually link the IK goals to this control so the foot will move with it. So um, select the IK goal and shift select the bone and control P and parent to bone. Select the next IK goal shift select the next bone. Um, we're actually uh, doing this one with the toe. That'll give us uh, control later on to actually move the toe up and down as well as uh, move on the rotate on the toes at the end. To shift select the last and link to bone. Uh, control P parent to bone. Uh, now you can see in this, we can actually rotate on all the objects, and you can see the IK goal, goals follow it. <coughs> okay, we're going to go back to, up to show hide and um, show the, the bones now. Now you can see when I rotate this, back in pose mode. So I can rotate the, the ball or the toes and also rotate back on the heel. Okay, we're going to go to edit mode and we're real quick just going to rename these. So we're going to go helper because these aren't the animator, animator objects yet. Heal. Uh, the next one, helper, the ball. Helper, toes. And the last one. Helper, ankle. Okay, and that's everything for this video. Uh, let me show you kind of how um, just it moves. So you can see that the foot stays planted, um, and we're basically controlling it with just the one bone. In the next video, we're going to go over actually creating the uh, control object to control the foot roll and um, that we'll move the bone with. So it's all in, in one bone. Um, and some other video, we'll go over actually controlling the toes and uh, make a probably a, a toe spread one as well. All right, and that's it. See you in the next video.